Welcome to One Mind Zen. Tonight's Dharma talk is given by Junchan Prajna. When I was a child, I went to church down, down the road at a little Baptist congregation. And in that church, we used a version of the King James Bible called the Red Letter Bible. And in this Bible, all of the actual words that were, at least in theory, spoken by Jesus were printed in red ink. And all the rest was in black ink. And the sum total of the words in this book or in the two books that were put together, the Old Testament and the New Testament, there were approximately 800,000 words. The number of words printed in red ink in the Bible, um, one estimation is that it was just over a thousand words, about a thousand and fifty-six words. Um, If you took the, the four different books that each gave a version of a a certain speech by Jesus that doubled the number of red letter words to just over 2000. The very first line of the Tao Te Ching is the Tao that can be told is not the eternal Tao. When Gautama Buddha woke up under the Bodhi tree. His first thought was not to teach. He was hesitant to teach. When we get a, when we as human beings get a little bit of wisdom, our first impulse is generally to share that wisdom. We wake up a little bit and we want to help other people wake up. Um, And that's, really brilliant. At the same time, not everyone that we encounter is going to be receptive to our new or old wisdom. Um, When we're teaching, whether we are lay Buddhists or sanctioned teachers, We're not always teaching to people who are necessarily going to be receptive to our message. Especially if our message is obscure to them, if it's unhelpful, um, if it's at all tone deaf or worst of all, if it bypasses their situation and their troubles. Uh, Being a spiritual friend is, it's important to remember correct function, correct situation, and correct relationship. Correct situation is when someone asks us for our help, um, when someone is receptive to the relationship that they have with us and what we have to offer. Um, And when we are the right person in the right place at the right time. Sorry, I I have a bird making a a racket beside me and I apologize. Um, Correct function is when the student teacher relationship exists or if not that, at least that we have an established relationship with that person where they trust us, they value our advice, and they find our advice to be, in general, helpful. In this relationship, we have to also stay within a forum that is, uh, that promotes trust um, and that promotes responsiveness. So when we're helping our friends, our loved ones, our students, It's best to remember that help is usually received best in an intimate and trusting environment and not maybe on social media 
for YouTube. And that the lesson is necessary and timely. And correct relationship is the most important of all because the reason that we walk this path is not to prove how much we know to other people. It's not to force our superior knowledge on the rest of the world, no matter how awake we are. Um, and the, really the proper question to ask in any of this is, how may I help you? Jesus spoke just over a thousand words out of an 800 or 2000 by some estimates out of an 800,000 word book. The first admonition of the Tao Te Ching is if you're talking about the Tao, you're not talking about the Tao. We as Zen practitioners descend from the Buddha via a singular student, a singular Bodhisattva, the Bodhisattva, Bodhisattva Mahakashyapa, who when the Buddha sat down to give a talk, simply held up a lotus. And in that moment, Mahakashyapa smiled. So as we offer our words and our hearts to those around us, let's consider offering what we have to others the way we might offer a loved one a flower with great care, very selectively, gently, and only in situations where we know that that person would be open to receiving this gift. 